Hi, I'm Courtney Meyer, Sanitarian with the Stark County Health Department. And I'm Dale Hodgson, an entomologist with Rose Pest Solutions. We're both members of the Stark County Bed Bug Prevention Task Force. In this video, we hope to answer any questions you may have concerning bed bugs. Dale, tell us what bed bugs look like. Well, bed bugs are small insects. They don't fly. Uh, the best way we could describe them, a full grown bed bug is about the size of an apple seed or about an eighth of an inch long. The nymphs or the young bed bugs are much smaller than that. They could be pinhead sized. They're very small. They go through uh, several molts, life stages, or life cycle. Um, they get a little bit bigger each time they molt. They will do that five times until they're an adult. What is molting? When they grow, they, their skeleton is on the outside of their body. It's called an exoskeleton. When they molt, they, for them to get bigger, they have to shed that skin. And when, literally, that the old skin splits, and the bed bug will crawl out of that old cast skin. And cast skins are one of the things we look for for bed bug infestations. Sometimes we don't actually see the bed bugs at first, but we may see the old skins. How bad is the bed bug problem in Stark County? For the past couple of years, we've been getting, my company's been getting bed bug calls uh, increasing at about 30% a year. So uh, the infestation is getting worse. I, we strongly advise people to check when they travel, um, you know, when they stay in hotels or anything. But Stark County locally, bed bugs are showing up. Where did bed bugs come from? Bed bugs have been gone for a long time with the advent of the DDT and some of the pesticides that came out right after World War II. Uh, bed bugs well, were in a sharp decline, but as the years went on, there's been some pesticide resistance. Um, our, we have travel that has increased. Um, we have shipping, international shipping that has gone on, you know, since bed bugs are hitchhikers. That's another way they get around. Uh, we're just a much more mobile society, and um, that's how. Bed bugs have been, you know, they were gone for a while, but now they're back, and unfortunately, they're back to stay. We don't see, and, and we don't see a decrease in their activity yet at all. How did bed bugs adapt to our lifestyle? Sure, biologically, bed bugs have been with us as far back as we have recorded history. Um, bed bugs, by, by the way they look, they're very flat. They're very small. They can get into cracks and crevices. And when they bite people, usually they don't, you don't feel the bite. They're not like a mosquito. A mosquito will bite you, you feel it immediately. Bed bugs, you don't do that. And they're nocturnal. Bed bugs will, usually bed bugs will bite between two and roughly two and three in the morning when biologically we're at our deepest sleep. But that does not mean that, that bed bugs can't bite during the day, they do. So if folks work third shift, uh, they come home and sleep on the couch. If they have bed bugs in the couch, the bed bugs will feed during the day. Life cycle of a bed bug. Well, when a bed bug is born, it's, it hatches from an egg. The first thing that it wants to do is feed. And then they, they feed, then they basically stay with the adults for a little while. Then they'll forage on their own, but they look for little places to hide and they will uh, just continue to grow until they reach adulthood then they will mate and reproduce and start the whole cycle again. How often do bed bugs reproduce? Once she's fertilized, a female can lay um, maybe four or five eggs a day, and she'll do that for maybe four weeks, uh, then she'll have to mate again. Where do bed bugs lay their eggs? Bed bugs will lay their eggs usually where they're resting. Those will be in the seams, cracks and crevices tufts, bed frames, underneath the bed frames, and the box springs, that kind of thing. How quickly can bed bugs multiply? Bed bugs could multiply in an ideal situation. You could go from one to a hundred in a matter of two months, maybe three. What do bed bugs eat? Bed bugs only eat one thing, blood. Human and blood? Human blood. We have found them on animals, we have found them on various things, but most of, in most all cases, bed bugs feed on people. And how do they find people to feed on? They cue on different things. We think that they, they cue in on uh, infrared, they cue in on body heat, and they cue in on uh, carbon dioxide. How long will a bed bug feed? 
usually takes about uh, three to five minutes for a bed bug to actually feed. We know this because we actually feed them. Um, what they'll do is when the, when the bed bug bites, it will, it has a mouth part, the mouth parts are stylets, meaning they're a long straw. And what they do is literally inject you with an anticoagulant and an anesthetic so you really don't feel it. Uh, and the bed bugs will draw blood from you at that point. When they're finished, they just basically stop feeding. Um, crawl away. Are the bites visible? In some people the bite, bite is very visible. It depends on the person. Some people react very strongly to bed bugs. Uh, other people have a moderate reaction. Some people never react. They wouldn't even be able to, they wouldn't even know that they were bitten. They're not like a mosquito. So this is more of like an allergic reaction. Yes, then. it's more of an allergic reaction. Okay. And then that allergic reaction could look different in different people. Yes, yes. Bed bugs don't. Uh, there's now one consistent bite pattern. They look. Uh, bed, it depends on the person. How long can a bed bug live without a blood meal? Bed bugs in a lab have been uh, known to live for as long as a year without a blood meal in the field or in the field situation. They can go about maybe seven months without a blood meal. Can bed bugs transmit disease? Bed bugs to this point have not been shown to transmit any diseases. Where would I check for bed bugs in my home? Mostly uh, bed bugs are going to stay relatively close to where they're feeding. Uh, so that would be around the head of the bed, uh, nightstands in particular, alarm clocks, lamps, that kind of a thing. In a, in a, that would be a small infestation. The worse the infestation is, the further away the bed bugs will get. And they can get, uh, we've seen places where it's an apartment or a house, an entire floor was infested. How do I know if I have an infestation? Well, the first place to check would be around the bed and things like that. Um, you would look for spotting on a, on a mattress in the seams and that kind of a thing and what the spotting looks like basically and the spotting is fecal material from the bed bug which is dried which is blood uh, it would look like if someone were to take a sharpie uh, a black sharpie and put little dots on the mattress seams and it would look a lot like that uh, some people that do react you know if all of a sudden they're, they're getting bites and they really can't explain where they're where they're coming from that might be an indication to start looking for bed bugs who is at risk for getting bed bugs? Everybody. Bed bugs do not differentiate between social class, ethnicity, uh, income level, or anything like that. They're not. They're not associated with uh, dirt, really. I've seen bed bugs in some of the cleanest places. How are bed bugs transported from place to place? Bed bugs do not fly. Mostly bed bugs or hitchhikers are notorious for this. That's the only way they get around. They're carried in luggage. They can be carried in personal items. Um, once in a while we see them on people. Furniture um, is another way that bed bugs are moved from one place to another. When people would have infested furniture, they will take it and put it out of the curb. Somebody else invariably will take it. And it doesn't matter even though we're in a winter, a winter period right now, Bed bugs can survive these temperatures. So if you would pick up a couch or a mattress on a curb, take it home, you've already had the infestation, it's there. What types of treatments are available to get rid of bed bugs? Um, it would be best to have a trained professional come and evaluate the situation and recommend a treatment option. There are things that can be done such as a crack and crevice type treatment, uh, vacuuming, um, Heat treating, heat treating is a big thing that we do, and you know, heat, extreme heat will kill bed bugs, and we can treat an entire home. How does heat treatment work? Bed bugs start to die at about 114, 115 degrees. So what we do, we literally come into a home, prepare the thing that we're going to to heat. Uh, then what we do is we bring in heaters, uh, heat heat an area up to a temperature of about 125 to 135 degrees and hold it for six, at least six hours. And that way any bed bug in, the, in that area will die, including the eggs. Can homeowners heat treat by themselves? No. 
Um, first of all, the generators that you would have to have to get a house or an apartment up to 130 degrees would be astronomical. It would put quite a load on uh, electrical system. Uh, there have been fires started because people have tried to do this with the space heaters and that kind of thing. It's a, it's a completely, it's a complicated system, so it's probably best left to a professional. Will my home vacuum kill bed bugs? No, it won't. Uh, bed bugs are, unlike other insects, bed bugs are fairly hardy. They can survive a vacuum cleaner very easily. What types of products should I avoid? There are products out there that uh, are labeled for cockroaches and crawling insects and that kind of thing that are uh, what we call a bomb or a total release type of system. This is absolutely the wrong way to treat for bed bugs because all it will do is drive the bed bugs into deeper harborage or deeper places to hide. And you, chances are that material will not get to the bed bugs to kill them. What should I know about applying my own pesticides? When folks decide to use their own materials, that, and there are materials available over the counter and in the stores, please follow those label directions explicitly. Too much is not a good thing. That's, you're at risk for overexposure to a pesticide. There are pesticides or tools, they're effective, but they have to be used correctly and safely. How will I know a pest management company is licensed? They can go to the, uh, uh, the Ohio Pest Management Association website. It's opma.org and they can look up the name of the company that they're talking about and uh, they will find out if they're a licensed company. By law, the um, pest control companies have to be licensed to operate and that's all in the department, that's under Department of Agriculture. How do I prevent getting bed bugs? Okay, things to watch out for um, or lifestyle changes that people might want to think about uh, is when they travel, I don't recommend that you not travel. People have vacations, enjoy yourselves, travel. Uh, but just be diligent when you look. Check where you're staying, look at the seams and cracks and everything around the headboard of the bed. Uh, and if you see anything that looks suspicious, report it. Um, and, then when you, and then keep all your luggage together, keep your belongings together. When you bring them back home, Check them before you put them away. Just don't bring the bag into the house, that kind of thing. Uh, I would recommend, too, that all the clothes that you wear when you're on vacation, when you bring them home, throw them in the dryer even before you wash them. If you run them on one cycle of a dryer, that the heat in the dryer will kill a bed bug. Okay, so heat at home, a washer and dryer, if yes. something's been exposed to bed bugs, yes. that will kill a bed bug. Yes, and there are products available out there that you can treat the luggage and that kind of thing with, too, which is always a good idea. And also, too, in your homes, um, although sanitation's not an issue really for bed bugs, clutter is. Because the more places there are for these things to hide, the harder they are to detect. So if there's a lot of clutter and you know you have things that you really don't need, I would suggest that you just get rid of it or put it somewhere, put it in storage or something. But the less clutter you have, the better it is, too. As you learn, bed bugs are a major concern here in Stark County. We hope this video answered many of your questions. For more information concerning bed bugs, please contact your local health department or a licensed pest management company.